are now at the Gulfos waterfalls. Gulfos means golden waterfall. Some people say it got its name because of the golden color on its glacial waters. There is also a story that a man had too much of gold and he didn't want anyone else to possess it after his lifetime. So he threw it into the waterfall and hence it got its name. Whatever the story is, the waterfall looks spectacular. It cascades as two layers, which is the speciality of this waterfall. It's biting cold out here with a temperature of minus 12 degrees Celsius. The sound of this waterfall is deafening. Strokur Geyser, a reliable geyser which erupts every 6 minutes up to 50 to 60 feet. A lot of mud pools and fume rolls in the surrounding area. Fun watching it. In Iceland, due to various volcanic eruptions, the land is not good for cultivation. Icelanders like to have their food cold. They like to eat raw food. They don't overcook their food. In fact, there is no concept of organic farming. Vegetables grown here are cabbage, cauliflower, tomatoes, pepper. 70% of Iceland's food comes from UK. Next, we shall be visiting the Fredhamar Greenhouse. The Fredhamar greenhouse is spread over 10,000 square meters. They grow almost two tons of tomatoes, pepper, cucumbers here every day. They claim that they contribute up to 40% of Iceland's vegetable requirements. Tomatoes grow all year round under artificial lights, replicating the Mediterranean conditions. The farm has abundant supplies of geothermal water, which provides heat to the greenhouse. The plants are pollinated by the bumblebees. There is also a restaurant offering hot tomato soup. And don't forget, tomato beer is not to be missed. If you're there between May and September, don't forget to book for the Icelandic Horse Show. We are at Tingvellir National Park. A rift valley with high cliffs, stunning views. The rift valley is formed because the Eurasian tectonic plate and the American tectonic plate meet each other here. It used to be an open air parliamentary assembly which used to be held annually till 1798. Famous for its natural beauty and magnificent backdrop. Driving through the Wolfjordur Tunnel, which is the longest underwater tunnel in Iceland, it shortens the distance by 45 kilometers. It now takes only 7 minutes instead of an hour.
are at Kirkjafell, which means the church mountain. It's on the north coast of Snæfellsnes Peninsula. At a height of 463 meters, it is one of the steepest mountains of Iceland. Kirkjafell is made up of layers of sedimentary rock and lava. Fossils can be found at the top of the mountain. It is claimed to be the most photographed mountain in the country. In the popular series Game of Thrones, it was featured as an arrowhead mountain. Walking further, there is a pathway on the left. You can get beautiful views of the waterfall as well as the mountain from there. Nature conservation is a high priority for Icelanders. They depend on natural sources. Not many industries are here. 95% of their energy is from recyclable energy. They have abundant hydroelectric as well as geothermal power sources. They also plan to convert all their vehicles into electric vehicles by 2030. Iceland's economy depends on fisheries and export of seafood. It's also one of the most tourism dependent countries on earth. The climate here is weird. In summer, the sun is there for almost 20 hours. Also called the land of midnight sun, sometimes the sun may not even set for almost two weeks. On the other hand, in winters, sunlight is limited to just five to six hours. In fact, Ever since I came here, I haven't seen the sun go much overhead. It just hovers near the horizon. Icelanders don't get much exposure to sun in winters and hence they lack D vitamin. So they take cod liver oil shots in the morning as a supplement.
the most colorful street of Iceland, painted in the colors of rainbow. This is the rainbow street. This represents Iceland's friendliness and acceptance towards its LGBTQ community. Iceland is considered one of the most LGBTQ friendly countries in the world. It's the most happening place in the city, many shops here. The street is loaded with souvenir shops. Illuminated with Christmas lights, looks vibrant and colorful. We are at the Halgrimskirkja church. The rocket-shaped church is the center point in downtown Reykjavik. No doubt, this is the most grandiest building in the area, soaring above the city skyline. The towering structure stands 74 meters tall, making it the tallest church of Iceland. It's the country's sixth tallest building. And of course, I didn't miss this building in my flight from Akureyri to Reykjavik. Here's at the aerial view of the church. you enjoyed traveling with me this is an eight day iceland tour which has been split into three parts so do watch the rest of the videos as well links of the other videos has been given in the description box and remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching these videos see you next time in a new series and a new destination bye bye